Acid Bass. Nowadays, there are tons of plugins that emulate that iconic sound from the Roland 303, but it's actually super fun to make this sound from scratch on Ableton. I'm going to use analog. Before anything, just select one voice so we work on mono. We are going to turn off the second oscillator. In my case, I'm going to use a saw tooth, but you can use a square wave too. Up to you. On the amp section, increase the decay to around 1.30 seconds. Decrease the sustain to zero and the release to 65 milliseconds. On the filter section, increase the resonance to 75%. And if you lower the cutoff, you can already hear some acid bass. For the filter envelope, decay at 55 milliseconds and sustained at 0.30. Now, for the cutoff, you can leave it static, make an automation, or add an LFO for some movement. In my case, I'm choosing a down waveform on 1.4 offset to minus 73% and that's it. We are only missing some heavy distortion and roar from Ableton is amazing for some acid bass. In this case, I'm using a preset called Bass Pass. All that's left is to play around with different settings and have fun. The drum loops that I'm using are from sampefocus.com, so go check them out and use your free credits today.